everyone welcome to another playstation 4 tutorial video today we're going to fix an error code su421186 this is a system software update error usually this happens for uh, hardware reasons as well so i will show you how you can fix this uh, very very quickly so first of all as you can see ps4 error su421186 comes from a broken ribbon connector between your motherboard and BD-ROM. You risk triggering it if you disassemble your console either while cleaning it or for another reason. When this happens, the system won't be able to communicate with the BD-ROM. Now, this can also be a system software update error as well. However, if you want to fix this, you want to go and you want to try out these five uh, fix uh, or you know fix ideas or strategies. So first of all is to reboot the console with safe mode This will help you to basically go back into the uh, safe mode uh, Now as you can see turn off the system completely and leave it off for around a minute Press and hold the power button and release the button when it beeps twice You need to connect your controller to the ps4 by USB cable and then hit the PlayStation button to repair the controller once you successfully pair your controller to the system, you can restart the console again and press X on the controller to reboot via safe mode. Now, when the device turns on, it should no longer display this particular error. If it does, try the next method right here. So you can update the PS4 via safe mode again, just like in the first step, you make sure to power off the system completely. Download the most recent PS4 firmware version because this usually happens because of the software update. And then you can save the file in an external USB drive, such as hard drive or USB disk. If your console is connected to the Ethernet network, you can skip this step. However, if it's not, you can press and hold the power button until the console beeps twice. In the safe mode, connect your controller to the PS4 via USB cable and press the PlayStation button to pair them. From there, you can go to update system software and press X button on the controller to select the option. If you're using an Ethernet network, just select update using internet. And yeah, if not, insert the USB with the downloaded firmware and select update from USB storage device option. From there, you can restart the PS4 console and confirm that the error is cleared. Now you can initial the console via safe mode as well. And then uh, you can do that right as well. Um, however, this should be able to fix your errors. If this is not fixing your errors, then make sure to restore the PS4 to default settings via safe mode as well or check the BD-ROM reboot and replace your hard drive. This is usually what happens with this error, so make sure you check every single thing, even software and hardware. So if you have any questions re regarding this or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.